good evening Virgos and welcome back to my channel this will be for Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus and love Virgos what's going on with Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus and love you're making a decision here to look two of cups two of wands and about love here yeah you're making a decision here For something to go away from the twist in the wand. Virgo Sun Rising and Venus. Virgo Sun Maybe you want to take a uh, leap of faith towards somebody you've been manifesting. Somebody that makes you happy. something working together hmm. you could be working on a project as well Virgos Virgos, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share, okay, my videos. That thumbs up, please, and thank you. Okay, Virgos, let's see what's going on for the next 48 hours in love for Virgos. Anything else? <clears throat> Seeing a lot of cuts, so Virgos, somebody got you in your feelings, okay? Sending messages, messaging someone with the page of wands, somebody that may have blocked you. Okay, in the past, maybe someone had had blocked you, but messaging someone with the page of wands here. Um, somebody that's guarded in love. Okay, could be this queen of wands, someone from your past. You want to speak the truth with this to this person that you have regrets. You know, by keeping your options open. Let's move out of conflict. Okay, there you are. The Knight of Pentacles want to offer something to this Empress and the new beginning, yeah, because they're your counterpart there. Okay, so what is in your present energy, Virgos? Present me in Virgos energy. What's going on? Yep, you have made a decision to a wands. A decision has been made. You picked a path, you picked a choice. You have made a decision between lovers. Because you have the lover's card at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. But this is could be between two people, two lovers. You're walking away from someone that was just a wish fulfillment here. And ready to fight with something. Fight with someone. I'm sorry. You walked away from someone, okay? Um, towards your wish fulfillment. Ready to fight for a relationship because you don't want it to be a missed opportunity. All right? Yep, you went long and you went in long and hard about wanting stability with this Queen of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. Okay, so very loving energy, nurturing. This person is loving, caring, nurturing, you know, great mother, stuff like that. This Queen of Cups is Virgo. Okay, so let's see who's hidden from you. Who's hidden from Virgos? This Scorpio, the death is ending. Transformation, what was hidden from you. You were, you were meant to transform and actually pick, make this decision. Okay, Virgo. So, yeah, you, you're you transforming and it's bringing in this tower. Boom. This is with the death card to the tower. It's like, okay, if, if some Virgos may experience somebody that passed away, kind of shocked you. But this is basically transforming. You know, death brings a new beginning. And you're bringing down a tower of something that was not, you know, it was built on a faulty foundation. It wasn't sturdy, okay? You're bringing this down, okay? Or somebody is bringing it down. Maybe it was a third-party situation and they kept you stagnant here with someone that you wanted to be in a relationship with, okay? <sighs> they kept a delay between the two of you or you guys stopped talking, whatever the case may be. But you're ending that. Whatever cycle that was ended, 
is bring in the tower, okay? Whatever that means. I don't even know how to say that right. Okay. Virgos. If you are ending something, because it could go either way, is with someone is going to bring in a tower, a whole shift, change, everything is going to happen. But with the spiritual awakening about maybe a path that you chose is bringing in a tower and it's like, ha ha, this is it, you know? Oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing type moment, okay? So what is the obstacles for Virgo? What is the obstacles for Virgo? Is the world card to the three of, uh, excuse me, this is how it came out. The world card is an obstacle, okay? Completing a cycle with working together with someone, okay? <clears throat> or mm, a cycle uh, uh, with something that you're working on, okay? The obstacle is the world. The world is endings. You got a lot of endings here, okay? Because a lot of stuff is like you're closing a cycle with something that you were trying to work on here, Okay? Um, you were working, you putting a lot of energy into it, okay? Feeling stuck here with this situation, okay? Mm hmm Being passionate about a queen of swords, wanting to offer them something, maybe, you know. But you're feeling left out in the cold right now behind this person because maybe they weren't talking to you or you, there's like the, the vibe has changed between the two of you. Okay, but that's about the end. Y'all about to go into a whole new cycle here. Okay, or even, you know, because you have to end something first, though. Something has to be completely over for you to get this uh, ending of this world. Okay, Virgo? Um, what is the outcome here? I'm sorry, Virgo. The outcome is the three of swords in the reverse. Okay. And the messenger okay coming out of heartbreak somebody you want to so maybe somebody wants to unbreak your heart or you're going to tell somebody you want to be you're using intuition now okay you're going to tell somebody you know let's do this over i don't want this heartache anymore to be maybe separated i don't want this heartache no more to uh continue i don't want to break your heart okay it could be dealing with the air sign gemini libra aquarius but the three of swords is in the reverse, so something is going to turn around from a heartbreak to maybe love, you know, love now. Okay, but we're going to clarify everything, you guys. Let's see. Two of Wands. Clarify this Two of Wands. What decision has been made here? A decision has been made for Virgo, Sun, Horizon, and Venus. What is the Two of Wands for Virgo? Sun rising and Venus. What is the two of wands for Virgo? Sun rising and Venus. Okay. <laughs> ten of cups. So you made a decision about a ten of cups situation. You decided to leave someone out in the cold, start a brand new passion, wait for somebody else, and start a brand new passion, a creative endeavor with something else. Okay. Or you're making making a decision um, about a ten of cups situation, or you decided to for. You have decided that you wanted this Ten of Cups, okay? That you've been waiting for, okay? You've been left out in the cold by this person, but you want to start a brand new passion, a creative endeavor, and have a re, uh, reunite with this person here, okay? Soulmate energy, okay? So that's beautiful. Ten of Cups. Certified this Ten of Cups for Virgo. Yep, so somebody is going to make you an offer. You are going to make someone an offer, okay, Virgo? I'm just going to make this person maybe an offer to this queen of swords that walked away from you here. Because you have a lot of love for this person. You've been keeping your eye on this person. Uh, Yeah, so let's see. With this page of pentacles. What are you holding in your hand, page of pentacles? Page of pentacles for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yeah. You want to work on this. You want to work together now. You want to work. Put some work into it. You want to work on it for real. Yeah, look. I'm going to tell you about that. Look. What did I tell you? Oh, my gosh. Okay, Virgo. So, this person is your soulmate. Okay, two of cups. Can't, it's not going to, you know, whatever. But um, you're going to have a new cycle with this person. And it's, like, going to be a wish fulfillment. And you will be getting justice here with this Libra here. Okay, justice, uh, wish fulfillment, maybe a Libra. Okay, um, 
But you love this person. You do, okay? Because they're loving, they're caring, they're nurturing, okay? They're the queen of pentacles. They take care of their business. You know, you have a lot of passion for them and you want to have something long term. Right. You're calling judgment on this player energy. You're like, I'm done being a player. I'm hanging up my P card. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm ready to settle down now. Okay, Virgos is saying. So clarify this death card. Clarify the death card for Virgo. Where does it? Oh my God. You, listen, something, you are seriously going through a transformation here. That brings, so this, you're about to be a new person. Like, or you are having a regret that this person ended this with you. Like, no, it's pissed you the fuck off and it brought you a tower. And you just watching this person be victorious and they done moved away from you, you know. And it's like, wait, you know, no, don't, don't leave. With the five of freaking cups, come back, you know. You cussing this person out. Like, I've changed. I'm going to change. Like, let's do this over. Let's let's have an equal give and take here. Let's work on it. Okay? I actually love you. Okay? Virgos, maybe you weren't very uh, emotional or didn't show your emotions to this person. They don't know. So, this, you are definitely, this situation has brought a tower moment that has transformed you from being a player to a more emotional person that you ready to show your emotions now. Okay, Virgo? So clarify this death card. The death card is clarified by this Queen of Wands. So this Queen of Wands did it to you. Yep. Uh, Leo Aries are sad, but this person, <laughs> you were moving slow as hell towards her. And she was like, no, I'm done. Okay? Or you ended something with a Queen of Wands. Okay? Leo Aries are sad. You stop offering something to them and you are moving towards maybe someone else that you don't want to miss an opportunity with. Yep, because if you miss it, you will have regret. So if there was a queen of wands in your energy, it's like that shit is dead, dead, okay? Somebody really ended something. You really like, no, I don't want this. I want my ten of cups with someone else, which was this Libra energy, this queen of swords, so that I, I want, I'm ready to work on that. Like, I don't know what this is, but I don't want this anymore. And you're really, 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 really went in through some, some type of transformation here. What's the Queen of Wands saying? Queen of Wands. We're Virgo. Yeah, you're single now. Uh-huh. Yep. You're going to tell the truth here to this Empress. So Libra and Taurus energy. You want this person from your past, this soulmate that you were sneaking around with here, Virgo. It's like... Um, no, I'd rather be, I'd rather be single and be over here than even be dealing with that person. So, yeah, you're, you're, um, going to go tell the truth to someone here. Okay. Now, and also the queen of wands is a very sexy, seductive, attractive, spontaneous, just fiery energy. Okay. This person could have been the catalyst to bring this singlehood on you, you know, make you want to be single because you really wanted that Queen of Wands. So you had to transform, literally. Like, you really had to transform, transform. All they had to do was kind of let you go. And once they really let you go for real, for real, it was like, oh, hell no. Like, you know. So, let's see. Um, yeah, judgment on that. <laughs> Call it judgment on that. Okay. Okay. So clarify the world for Virgo. What's the world here? Clarify the world for Virgo. What's the world here? Judgment, okay? Judgment, okay? Second chances. Getting a second chance. This air sign that you've been stressing over may be messaging you, okay? You've been keeping a, a, the eye on, but somebody has to make a decision. You know, somebody's going to have to make this decision here, okay? To call judgment on the situation. Or you had to make a decision to call judgment on the situation. So what's this judgment? Judgment is the nine of cups with a wish fulfillment, okay? That you wanted this ten of cups with, okay? Could it, Like I said, a counterpart. Because you're fiery, they're fiery. Y'all both have some fiery qualities to you guys, okay? So judgment was called on it from the universe, okay? Um, the world card, you know, they call it judgment on it because... It was one-sided with the Nine of Cups. So clarify this Nine of Cups here. Yeah. Ha! Huh. What did I say? It was so one-sided. The Five of Swords. Somebody wanted to win at all costs. Okay? Needing strength here. Okay? 
needing strength. This is what you're doing now. You're needing strength here. These are your obstacles. Needing strength because you want your wish fulfillment. You want a second chance. You want this person, whoever this person that has ended a cycle with you or you want to go into a new cycle with, Archangel Michael is here with you to bring you into this cycle. Okay? Five of Swords. Pick out the Five of Swords for Virgo. Five of Swords for Virgo. Yeah. You had to lay something to rest here. You really had to lay an energy that was self-serving. I just heard self-serving energy. You had to lay that self-serving energy. Stop lying to yourself of why you are this King of Cups type of non-emotional energy when you really want to be happy. You don't want, you really have a lot of love. You had to cut off, you're going to have to cut off anything, healing, like you have to cut off all of that shit that is not allowing you to be the person, the best person that you are supposed to be, Virgo, okay, with the um, four of swords, you had to lay something to rest, which is this, I gotta win at all costs type of vibe, like, or I'm a win, you know, like real, judgment is, was called on that self-serving shit, okay, so the three of swords in the reverse for Virgo, Three of Swords in the reverse is, yeah, this lover. So this soulmate, this lovers, you've been moving slow towards that blocked you. You have been stuck on this person. The Emperor is here, which would be you. It is heartbroken that this person may be wanting to move away from you or was waiting for something else. So the lovers, clarify the lovers. Clarify the lovers, please. <laughs> this Queen of Swords, Libra energy. Queen of Swords, first thing in Libra. Yes, you are obsessed with this Libra, okay? Lots of obsession here, okay? Wanting to take this leap of faith towards this person, okay? Queen of Swords. What is the Queen of... Are you serious? The World card? You are, yeah, you will start a new cycle in love. You will start a new cycle in love with the Queen of Swords here. This, that's your soulmate. It is what it is. But you're going to have to fix that. Whatever. Walking away from all types of childish communication. Okay. You have to leave that in the past. Okay. Because this situation involves marriage. Okay. That's when as soon as I cut the darn thing. So yeah. This situation involves marriage. So maybe this is the person says this could be the one you have already met the romantic partner you seek and very soon this is going to be have to be a decision you're going to have to make because if not the universe is going to take it away okay so virgos <sighs> like and i really feel like virgos you have a lot of romantic feelings for this person and they're saying your feelings are real and worth exploring but it's some sort of religious factors or some type of set ways something that how you are set in your mind how you've been conditioned Growing up as a from childhood, Virgo. Yep. Let's see what's going on. Online, Virgos. They're saying let go of your control issues, Virgo. Because this could be the one. You already met the romantic partner you seek. It is what it is. Let go of those control issues. Oh my gosh. Okay. Virgo. This could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner you seek. And at the bottom of the deck is separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And this is time apart from this person. Yes, you are. You have been separated from this person. But um, that's the person you're supposed to be with. Okay. Let's see. There it goes. Retreat. Yes. Religious factors. Retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. Okay. And you may want to just go away with this person. Maybe go on vacation with this person. You're going to retreat. Okay. To get to know each other. Okay. And it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens because you do deserve love, Virgo. It is a soulmate. Yes. And keep an open mind. Wow. This is a past life soulmate. Is that that? This is y'all been married uh, lifetimes before. Okay. So um maybe this is why you know uh you guys had this type of vibe between the two of you so yeah virgo i hope this message is uh resonated with you guys and um i'll talk to you later bye